Hey, church family, what's going on? It's Pastor Hassan, and uh, I just wanted to bring you a quick update, let you know what's going on this week. Um, we had our first in-person gathering after just about four months on this last Sunday, and uh, yeah, I got to be honest, it was, it was weird. It was good to be back in this building and to see other brothers and sisters present, but um, it was a bit of a strange thing. Um, number one, there wasn't many of us there were 25 of us um, we were all scattered out and everybody was wearing masks and so uh, no pun intended the whole situation was a bit uh, sterile but um, be that as it may like we're, we're thankful for uh, the opportunity to be together and the Lord was gracious in terms of um, the word and the, the little bit of fellowship and communication that we were able to have uh, but uh, nonetheless we, we miss um, all of us being together as a church family. Um, so, but but coming up this week, uh, starting on today, Tuesday, July 7th, uh, later on tonight, you would have gotten the uh, invitation. I sent it out late last night, probably around 10 or so, uh, in both the WhatsApp chat and the email uh, list. We're going to have our discussion group. Um, so we're going to discuss uh, this past Sunday's sermon. So the text that we looked at from 1 Corinthians 9, uh, verse 24 to 27, we'll, we'll discuss that together. So if you're able to join us tonight at 7 uh, p.m., uh, you could just hit that Zoom link and uh, it'd be good to see you and, and to discuss the word together. Then um, tomorrow, uh, so Wednesday, July 8th, we're going to have our next prayer meeting, and that's going to happen at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So be on the lookout for the invitation for that. I'll try to send that out um, shortly. Then the next thing that's going to happen uh, is our Friday devotional. I was wondering if we should have people uh, phone ahead to, to let us know if you're planning to come on this Sunday, but um, it's maybe maybe not necessary. If, if you would like to, we, we love that. Um, you can just phone phone the office and leave a message, speak with Charlene or get a hold of me just to um, kind of let me or let one of us know if you're planning to come, but it's not not. Um, you're not obligated to do that. Or if you have any questions about anything, feel free to call the office. But on Friday at 8.30 in the morning, I'm going to post a, a devotional connected to um, this coming Sunday's sermon, which is going to be, we're going to be getting into 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 10. And so, um, yeah, I'll post that at 8.30 just to get us again thinking about uh, what's coming on on Sunday. Um, so I hope I hope these Friday devotionals have been helpful just in, in terms of um, prepping us for the Sunday morning. So it's not just, oh, we come in, we sort of drop in and uh, listen to the word and that, that's it, having not uh, thought much about it beforehand. Um, so that, that's Friday, um, July uh, 10th at, at 8 o'clock or 8.30, excuse me. And then the next thing is going to happen, we got our Sunday morning routine. And so at uh, 10.45... I'm going to post the sermon uh, for Sunday. See you. And, um, and then we're also going to have the discussion group at, at 2 o'clock. So I'm going to try to get that thing, those things uh, done in, in a fashion that would allow us to um, all meet together. So there was a bit of a lag on this last, this last week um, in some of the preparation, but I was able to. So what I did is I actually preached the sermon twice and uh, um, posted it ahead of time, having preached the sermon on, on Saturday. But this week, I'm just going gonna, gonna to try to get everything done so that everybody's able to watch the sermon at, uh, during the 1045 uh, space. Um, it'll be available online on the YouTube channel. And then following that, we'll have our discussion group at, uh, at 2 o'clock. Uh, so... Yeah, again, be on the lookout for the invitation for that. Then the next thing that's going to happen is Sunday school, instead of happening at 9.30, which it's been happening, it, again, is going to be at uh, 6.30 on, on Sunday. Uh, so we did it. We met last week, Sunday, at 6.30 and discussing uh, the book of Acts. And so we're going to continue trucking in, in, uh, in that book. So join us if you're able to do that. And then the last couple of things that I want to mention, uh, one, just a reminder of the memory verse, which is Acts chapter 17, verse 24 to 25. Again, thinking about the attributes of God and uh, Acts chapter 17, verse 24, 25. 
says, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he worshiped with men's hands as though he needed anything, since he gives to all life, breath, and all things. And we're thinking about God's self-sufficiency. God has everything that he needs in and of himself. And so, um, yeah, that's our memory verse. We'll be working on that. And then Lord willing, we'll recite it at the end of the month. Uh, and the last thing that I want to mention is just a reminder. Our annual meeting is, is coming up. We're going to do that, Lord willing, Friday, August 7th. And ahead of that, we need you to get your nominations for church officers in as, as soon as possible. So those have already been mailed out. Um, you can either drop those off here at the church or you can phone in your nominations either to myself um, or to uh, Mr. Champ. So just I uh, want to encourage you to get those done, but not just get it done, fill it out, but be prayerfully considering um, who, who you should nominate for uh, church officers. So that's it in the way of what's coming this week. And uh, again, as always, I love y'all, praying for y'all, and um, I hope you have a great week, and Lord willing, we'll see you soon. Okay, take care. God bless.